This is a message for any Democratic voter who have already cast their ballots for Hillary Clinton and who are having a bad case of buyer's remorse. Wisconsin is one of several states where you can change your early ballot. Hey, let's face it, we've all had buyer's remorse, right? Donald Trump at a rally in Wisconsin early this week actually advocating for early voters. If you've had buyer remorse, change your ballot. Now, the early voting debate taking center stage this election after a series of game-changing October surprises have left countless Americans probably itching to at least reassess, maybe even switch those votes. Let's discuss it now with Ed Peswali, Jillian Melcher, and Shelby Holliday. Ed, you've been involved in, in, in campaigns in Florida, which I think has the most early votes of any state. And it probably, I think in, in 2012, it actually put Barack Obama over, over, you know, put him slightly ahead of uh, Mitt Romney. What do you make of this? Is it time for this country and these individual states to maybe reconsider? They should reconsider shortening. I mean, in Florida, we started early voting October uh, 24th, and that's given several weeks. Now, think about all the news that's occurred since then. Those voters have not had the benefit of that. As of today, uh, Charles, we've had almost 5 million voters in Florida already cast their ballot. We've got to shorten that time. Election should be a snapshot in time. I'd suggest something like a Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Election Day, and that's it. Jillian, what do you make of it? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I mean, at minimum, I think if you're going to have early voting, you should have that option to change it. I mean, I really sympathize with the people who just want to cast their ballot and be done with it. But in particular, this election, I think the electorate needs as much information as it can get. You know, it's interesting. I did read an article where a lot of people who have become new voters since November 4th of 2012, uh, 2014 rather, are picking this, this route. So it may also, though, be the kind of sort of things that, that sweeten, you know, makes it for... I don't, for lack, I don't want to say early, or, I mean lazy people, but getting some people off the fence. But should they even be seduced? I mean, it's, it's, you should probably have, get up and go vote no matter what. You know? should get up and go vote. I'm all for states' rights. I think states should figure out what works best for them. But I, I think that's a great point. There should be limits to early voting. We shouldn't be voting months out before a presidential election. I also covered some voter fraud in 2008. Over in Ohio, what happened was there was an early voting week. People could show up to the polls, register, and vote at the same day. And there were Northeasterners from New York and New Jersey coming into Ohio and casting ballots. And so these early voting laws right. change every election. They create loopholes, and it opens it up to voter fraud. What Donald Trump's talking about, changing your vote, that could provide some leeway for voter fraud if people start changing each other's votes or going back and trying to rescind yours and it, you know, well, that I know it's a complicated choice. process no mm -hmm. matter what I mean are you familiar with the process because what I've seen or what I've read is that it is cumbersome uh, but the point is I'm sure there's so many people who probably wish they could change their vote right now Jillian yeah I mean I'm not sure with, with that process I know I've done early voting before uh, both when I was out of the country and when I was a Wyoming resident getting ready to move for college but I, you know I think that ability to change your vote is actually really important um, particularly in a race like this where you have consistently right. new surprising information and when, it, when it's this close. And your and vote's not actually counted until election sure, day. Sure, sure. That's when yeah. it's actually counted. So maybe we should let people change it. I'm going to go to you uh, and finally because, again, Florida, uh, and the, the early ballots, uh, Republicans have had a, a pretty significant lead. I, I think, I don't yeah. know what the count is today, but it felt like it was uh, it's really a lot smaller now with in-person early voting. And, of course, it's going to be a major push over the weekend. Uh, is that what you're talking about? In other words, you know, the sort of uh, skewing what might be the will of the people come next Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, that's the problem. I mean, you want people to assess the same information and then make their Charles, Charles. So we're not talking about two different things. I mean, first of all, by the way, in Florida, you cannot change your early ballot. If you voted, you voted. That's it. And so it, it's kind of really somebody. Let's think about somebody who voted October 24th and now wants to change their vote. They cannot do yeah. it in Florida. And think about how important Florida is to this race. Yeah, I got a feeling there's going to be a few changes made after this. Uh, Thank you all very much. Appreciate it.